with the death toll that rose to more than 350 on Sunday and with 200 still missing, the landslides that hit areas in the North Kerala district of Vainad will go down in history as one of the biggest catastrophes of the decade. The tragedy has also generated a political controversy. Union Home Minister Amit Shah, speaking in the Rajya Sabha on July 31st, claimed that the centre had sent multiple advance warnings starting as early as July 23rd to the Kerala government about possible floods and landslides and nine NDRF teams were rushed to the state the same day. However, according to Shah, the Kerala government did not heed the advance warnings. The Kerala government has denied receiving warnings regarding the landslides and some media reports have questioned the Home Minister's assertions. Scientists at the Cochin University of Science and Technology, or CUSAT, said that the India Meteorological Department had issued an orange alert on July 29th. An orange alert indicates very heavy rainfall between 11.5 and 21 centimetres over 24 hours whereas the actual rainfall in the Juralmala region of Vayanar was 37.2 centimetres on that fateful day. So here, uh, as far as the Vayanar incident is concerned, uh, India Meteorological Department had alerted with the orange alert uh, prior to the uh, event day, that is on 29th. And, uh, but uh, nobody had thought of such a massive disaster, that is the problem. Uh, causative factor for such a massive landslide was the exceptional rainfall which uh, no model could predict. If it is the scenario with uh, any global institution uh, whether in India or abroad such uh, very dramatic events cannot be predicted well in advance. According to scientists at QSAT, early warning systems, despite many advancements over recent years, still remain unpredictable for certain events. Uh, most of the time earlier uh, we used to uh, get a lot of uh, false alarms but nowadays uh, there are a lot of Im improvements definitely because of dedicated observations and uh, hi-fi models and uh, improvement in uh, computational facilities. Our predictions are improving but not 100%. That is the problem. Especially with regard to extreme weather events we are lacking. Small scale uh, like uh, cumul the formation of cumulonimbus clouds and uh, events of cloud burst etc. are very difficult to be predicted and uh, that is what has happened in the recent uh, up over uh, Vayanad region. Scientists also pointed to technical shortcomings in predicting the unprecedented rainfall event that led to the massive Vayanad landslides. We can have a certain radar images and the radar now casting, it is known as now casting. So with the now casting, we will be able to predict with a certain accuracy, not 100% uh, accuracy. But the problem is, uh, Vainad is situated uh, uh, something like a 200 kilometer away from Cochin, where IMD is having a Doppler weather radar. And uh, due to the curvature of the uh, Earth's shape, the, we cannot uh, scan the full depth of the clouds and uh, only the top portion can be obtained. So whatever reflectivity data we are getting from radar may underestimate the rainfall, whereas uh, most of the uh, its uh, uh, rain water containing part will be below the radar's uh, scanning area. Scientists say that predicting a cloud burst such as the one in Vainar or others that have since occurred in Himachal Pradesh and Uttarakhand is very difficult. So predicting cloud bus nowhere in, in the world, there is no um, uh, 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 foolproof system available to predict this type of cloud bus, exact location of this type of cloud bus even few days in advance. Uh, there was uh, a kind of hint for this uh, uh, type of rain events uh, in the northern Kerala, but accurately predicting this, as I said, is a very difficult problem. But at the same time, um, uh, if the normal landslide prediction is a difficult, uh, difficult problem. Nowhere in the world there is, a, no, there is no foolproof uh, system available to predict the landslide. Although ambitious, United Nations targets aim for early warning systems to protect everyone on Earth from increasingly extreme weather and climate changes by 2027. Incidents such as these raise questions whether it would be possible to meet that goal.